this is Otto here and he is a week into baby led weaning. This is probably maybe the fifth time that he's sat in this high chair so it's all still very new to him and to be honest at the moment I think he's more interested in looking at what I'm doing than at the food in front of him. So we're about a week in and we've um, began really casually just giving him sort of one meal every day, not really a meal, just one go in the high chair every day um, and just starting off with really um, just simple fruit and vegetables, nothing more complicated than that. Um, and he's taken to it incredibly well. It's almost been intuitive for him. So I chose to start him off properly at about seven and a half months. At seven and a half months, it wasn't his first ever taste of food. There were a couple of times when he was six months old that he grabbed food from my plate and kind of went for it. Um, but I chose to kind of start properly, like, you know, introduce the high chair and give him a meal a day at seven and a half months. I've definitely found a benefit to starting a bit later with my second two children. With my first, we were obviously really eager, so as soon as he turned six months, we sat him in the high chair and started him with some food. And he did do very well with baby led weaning, um, and I think he was, at the time, up for it. But in hindsight, looking back, I think there were a few things that he wasn't quite ready for, like he wasn't quite there with his grip, um, and he did sort of muddle through very much for the first month until it really got going and he got the hang of it whereas with my younger two children they pretty much knew what they were doing right from the start and were able to get food successfully into their mouth and actually ingest it as well the thing with weaning is there's actually no pressure to start bang on at six months and I think this is especially true if you subscribe to the food is just for fun before one idea which I definitely do the way I look at it is that it's not about sustenance, it's not about trying to get food into him, it's not about hunger, it's kind of almost like he's just learning to play with a new toy, it's more about exploration, about taste, about learning to kind of get that hand-eye coordination to get the food into his mouth. This also means that I don't feel at all pressured to move him on to three meals a day. If he misses any food one day, I'm not worrying, oh, he should have eaten something, because food is just fun before one, and he has all the same milk feeds as he did before he started eating. So it's really just introducing it very gently, and there's no pressure for him to actually be eating anything. It's just about playing. I remember thinking just before he turned six months, I, you know, I can't believe that he could be weaning soon, it just doesn't seem like he's ready. But actually, the gap between me thinking that and then thinking, hold on a second, he's really ready, that was only really about maybe three or four weeks, maybe a bit less than that actually. It was the point when he started grabbing food off my plate as I was holding him, and that was, yeah, maybe about six and a half months so it does change so quickly from thinking they're not ready to start eating to no they really are actually there are certain kind of tick boxes that you'll find if you google is my baby ready for baby led weaning one of the things is grabbing at food which i've already been over that he was definitely doing Another thing is being able to sit up unaided. This is really important with baby led weaning because they're eating finger food, which means that they're swallowing chunks rather than pureed food. They need to be sitting up properly. Well, that's a bit noisy. <laughs> they really need to be able to sit up with a straight back in order to stop any food blockages or any choking or anything like that. So it is a really important factor. Otto, when he started, and actually still now, is not sitting up unaided. He sits up with a strong back when he's supported, but if I put him on the floor, he would probably kind of slump over. So he's not quite there yet, and neither was my second son, Rory, when he started weaning. But I can see that he's got a really strong back, and when he does eat, he can pull himself forward. So I decided that we would just kind of let that tick box slide and that I could see that he was really okay to start doing the weaning but if your baby is kind of really not there at all with sitting up or balancing then you probably need to wait a little bit longer. Another tick on the list for baby led weaning is having a tooth or more than one tooth. 
Otto doesn't have any teeth yet. Um, I think Rory had one when he started and Arlo, my first, had two at six months. So that wasn't a problem. With Otto, I've been waiting for his teeth to come in, uh, but we haven't got any yet. Although I can see a few that look like they're really ready to go. Um, so I've still started him with food, but obviously I'm just giving him softer things. So at the moment he's got some banana and some orange. There's nothing really tough there. And I'm pretty sure that teeth are going to follow soon. I offer him water in a beaker at every meal time. Usually I give it to him after the food because otherwise he gets a bit excited about the beaker and just wants to play with that. Another question I get quite a lot is um, how do we introduce foods? Do we do one at a time? Do we look out for any potential allergens? The answer is yes, we definitely do. My first had cow's milk protein allergy, was allergic to egg and soy so we had to do a lot of um, selective introducing and holding off of foods for a long time my second was didn't have any issues with food so we still did introduce things very slowly but that was a bit more straightforward he could go on to proper meals and we didn't have to exclude anything so it was a little bit of an easier journey with Otto, he has quite a bit of eczema and reflux, which I'm attributing to, again, issues with um, dairy and cow's milk. So I'm going to be really careful about introducing dairy to him. I'm not in a rush to do it, to be honest. We'll probably wait quite a while before we introduce any dairy to him. Um, egg, again, the same thing. Anything that flags up as quite a common allergen. For the next month or two, we're just going to concentrate on just plain fruit vegetables. Uh, so far, I've been really surprised actually at how well he's taken to it. <laughs> he hasn't really seemed too interested in the food right now, but that's because I've put a camera in his face and I'm also sitting next to him talking to it. So it's a bit too much distraction. But generally, and especially I find when his brothers are at the table eating with him, he cannot get enough of it. And it's just really natural. He really understands what he's doing. And it's really nice to see, actually, because he's taking a lot of pleasure in trying new foods. And that's kind of what it's all about. Having done weaning three times, um, all babies are different. My eldest liked us to spoon feed him, but he also did have finger feeds. My second wouldn't have anything to do with being spoon fed. He was all about feeding himself and doing baby led weaning. And I think Otto, he's a bit grabby, he's a bit more hands on. So I think he's gonna get on better with baby led weaning too. The thing I find easiest about baby led weaning when you've already got children is you don't have to do anything differently. They can all eat together and eat the same meals and I don't have to worry about pureeing anything or doing any extra step. There's always that stage where they gag a lot and that can be a little bit intimidating. Um, and I find having the two older children who are always diverting my attention, it does become a bit of a challenge to make sure that I'm watching him as much as I need to. Um, so that I'd say is the hardest thing about baby led weaning. But to be honest, it's all been a really natural progression for us. It fits in entirely with our existing daily routine um, and I think there are a lot of benefits to doing it.